have a voice for audiobooks? Hmm. Let's dive in and see what kind of voice does work well for audiobooks. Has anyone ever said to you, you have an amazing voice? Or, wow, do you work on the radio? You know, you have a great voice. How many of you have ever heard that? Has it made you wonder if you'd be good at audiobook narration? <laughs> well, let's take a look at some examples of what I think qualifies you to be an audiobook narrator. First, it's not about the quality of your voice. If you're the kind of person that everyone all of your life has always said you should be in radio, you just have an amazing voice, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'd be a great narrator. The sound of your voice really has very little to do with being a voice actor or narrating audiobooks. People don't care how you sound. They want to know if you can make them feel what you're reading. Aww. Are your emotions involved in it? Are you passionate about it? Because the listener will definitely hear the difference. So what qualities do you need to be a good audiobook narrator? Have you ever been happy? Sad, excited, nervous, scared, or any other emotion? <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. You've got to be able to express that emotion. If you can express that emotion when you're narrating, you're an audiobook narrator. You've definitely got a great start. How about, do you sound bold? Do you sound weak? Do you sound nasally or screechy or weird or even annoying? <sighs> you might never play that uh, big, bold announcer at the beginning of a movie or the superhero in your favorite animated series, but somebody's got to play the mad scientist, the bad guy, uh, the, all the other characters. Character work? is huge, and it's not just that big, bold sound. A lot of people succeed in voiceover, in character work, or in audiobook narration. Audiobooks require a great deal of character work, and some voice actors make it big because they can play a wide range of characters, and some, they make it because they can do just a few things really, really well. So if you're not comfortable with character voices, maybe you want to stick with, you know, nonfiction. There's lots of nonfiction books that are not full of characters, right? The choices are limitless. But, you know, talking about the odd-sounding voice, how many of you have ever heard of Gilbert Gottfried? He's an amazing actor, and he's best known for having... um. An annoying voice, right? But Gilbert Gottfried has over 100 IMDb credits for voiceover alone. That's quite a huge accomplishment. So no matter what the quality of your voice is, it's really about portraying the emotion. Can you express the emotion behind the script? If so, you are well on your way to becoming a great audiobook narrator. Now, if you're still learning and you're still trying to figure this all out, some of our courses at VoiceOver Masterclass include character animation and audiobook narration. There's two separate courses, and both are jam-packed full of just invaluable, time-saving skills. I will put the link to both of those courses in the description, you don't want to miss those courses. They are just jam-packed full of all kinds of great information that you can use every day in your voiceover journey. So check those links out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on a single video.